Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines Industries with me Biffa. Thank you very very much for joining me. I hope you're having a great day. Here we are in Detroit and we are going to be concentrating on a brand new factory and some brand new industries and all the infrastructure that has to go with that including people as well. We still need to keep expanding our city to, uh, to take all that stuff on board and we've got this little section set up here. And we're going to build over to this side and we discovered in the last episode we've got forestry we've got oil we've got ore which we're sort of you know building over but we can do something with that either side of this highway and farming so we can grab all the stuff that we need um, let's have a look at the new factories the choices we've got household plastic factory printing press lemonade factory electronics factory clothing factory petroleum refinery Soft paper factory. That was that one there, wasn't it? Car factory. Did I miss one? Yeah, soft paper, car factory, sneaker factory, and shipyard. Now, I would like to go for the car factory and maybe add next to it like an electronics factory as well, as we haven't used those. But we're going to do stuff sort of in reverse. We're going to put the car factory down first and then work back and see the sort of products that we need to get to it. And we have access to this railway link as well which goes all the way through into our city, which goes in here, which has access to cargo station and access to... I'm um, confused with the wrong way around. There we go. Access to this cargo station here as well. So that goes along there, around there, up to here. Yeah, and down here, which is fantastic. So that is going to be great. We want a train station in here for sure. So... Let's start with the highway. We've got this coming along here. Um, I've got this over here at the same height as that. So I'm hoping if I just go across, we're going to get a nice bridge. And we don't. It like dips in the middle. Why does it do that? There's absolutely no reason why it should do that. Look. <laughs> whatever, whatever. We're going to put those in. Oh, why does it make that a different... Uh, a different bridge to this one over here? Because... The land on both sides is exactly the same. Do you know what I'm going to do? Now, could I do this? Will this work? Let's have a look. If I grab that, uh, we'll put buildings, props, decals, node segments. If I go like this. Yes, that's copied that. So if I do this and pop it in here. Can we like get this all lined up exactly the same? Is that going to work? Like that. And then can we turn that round and connect it up? I assume we can. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Let's do that. So that's going to go that way. And then just turn these around. Yes, we can. Well, I never. There we go. And then all we need to do... Whoa, imagine this one. Come on, kids. We're going on the bridge. Woo! It's like a roller coaster ride. And then all we need to do is grab some nodes... So let's grab that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And we want all of those to be the same height as this. And I'm assuming that one is already. So we want that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And all those to be the same height as that. How does that look? Perfect. Perfect. And then we're in over here. Good. So how should we go along here? I'm thinking straight into the middle, big roundabout junction mm. I mean these bits over here could have a highway connection coming in to there what mm, I'm just wondering whether uh, not that one some other big junction but a lot of these take up so much space that we're going to lose half of this area over here I mean, that one's not too bad it gets busy but it doesn't take up much space uh, let's have a quick let me have a quick look through here one second Right, I found the one I like that I'm going to use. Let's bring this into here. And let's bring that out to here. Yep, good. There we go. And then we're going to connect onto here, this one. Aha, there we go. Let's move some of these rocks out of the way. Oops. Let's move some of these rocks out of the way so we don't lose them. There we go. I like this one. 
That should be okay, like that. Yeah, there we go. So we can attach to the highway up there at some point and then go over here and attach to the highway. And then we have this little road down here, which will hopefully give us access to all of this with no problem. So that's good. I might just carry this one on out here. Just so we don't suddenly build over the top. Oh, I'd love to get the parallel road mod back. Unfortunately, we don't have it yet. Uh, let's just carry that on to over there. Yep, there we go. Just want to know what space is being taken up. Good. So let's build off of this then. What have we got down here? Let me maybe upgrade this road. We can't. Can I do it like that? Are we going to mess anything up? No, that's fine. That'll be good. Yep, yeah, four lane roads going out. Excellent, excellent. Well, let's just see how we go with mar 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 marking out. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Marking out some sort of area and see what we end up with. So let's do that. So that'll end up going that way. The train station I want over here. So I'm thinking, how could we connect to that? Will that road go underneath there? Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. So if we anarchy that in, what's going to be in the way? A pillar. Okay, well that's alright, because what we can do, we can move it mod, that pillar, to over here, and then line it up. So it's going to have to go this way a bit. Line it up into the middle of that road. That should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Nothing else in the way under there. No, that's good. So we've got that road coming out there. We've got this road coming down here. Let's just continue this one along. Ping. That one can continue down here somewhere. Let's just go to there. And that one can go that way. Right. So then we can build off of here and have our train station down there. Let's get our cargo train station. Let's not having a mini death wave again. Gotta love a good death wave. So, I'm thinking... Oh, we've got to have a road in here. Oh, I never know how far out the road has to go. Is there some way I could measure this? Where's my other cargo train station? Measure this once and for all. So, from there to there is basically 160. So, will that work? So, if I go from there to there... And did that... I know it's not going to fit. Yeah, it would. Look, it lines up perfectly. Ah, well, that's worth keeping in mind, isn't it? Well, I want to keep those there. We're going to use this piece over here. Let's uh, upgrade that road. We'll use the industrial road, as this is going to be a very industrial area. There we go. Oh, I bet the adverts are finished. Yeah, there's an option to turn off the funny adverts. Paradox. I'd love it. <laughs> After I've heard them, I don't want to hear them a hundred times. Uh, slope too steep. Oh, darn it. It is a bit steep, isn't it? I'll tell you what, if we take this bit out here, can you go in there? Yes. Are you hooking up? We've got anarchy on. Don't want to cause any problems. Let's do that. Oh, what? Alright, we need to do a bit of terraforming here. Hold on one second. Right, I think I've got this area leveled out reasonably well. That grass will grow back. That should look fine. I'm just putting like another little mini junction onto the highway uh, here, which I think is a good idea. Let's see if we can get this going. So we've used this sort of junction before, a little highway access before, but not on a bridge. So I'm having to sort of rebuild it uh, a bit. Let's grab that. Want it to go straight up to there. Yep. Let's grab that one. Want it to go straight onto there. And that should be. That should be okay. So it's the one on the right that's coming down. Yeah, that should be okay. Roads aren't too steep, and that just gives access to the highway as well, which is great. Uh, we have the one way road coming up here for access to this. I'm just going to change this road here, actually. Let's grab... I want it to connect to the, uh, that. I want it to connect to that one. Or should I have it connect to this one? So that can lead... Actually, it should connect to both, shouldn't it? Let's make all of this one way. And then run this along the back here. And sort of have it connect to there is what I'm thinking. Let's do that. And if we remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that. Yeah, that will do, won't it? 
bit of a turn, but that's fine. They'll get onto there, and then they can join the highway that way. And then I want them to go onto this one as well. So that one is going to have to sort of come from across here. Just to sort of give them enough space. Can I go under there somehow? I sort of go like that. And then like that. There we go. So it goes underneath there, back on there. So they can now have access to the highway going both ways. Which is good. Uh, what I'm going to do with these little one-way roads here, I don't know yet. Right, we have the water hooked up. Now, we need some power over here. And I was thinking of having their own little power grid over this side. And we could even use the solar power plants. Uh, it's going to cost us a bit a month, uh, a week. We can afford it when our, when our factories are working fine. We've got 3.2 million. We're really not doing that bad out of money. Um, that's going to give us 112 to 160 megawatts. So, yeah, that'll be okay. Um, I wanted to mark out a bit more of the industry area before we do that. So, we've got this road here. Let's get the larger industry road. Medium industry road. There we go. Which we could hook up over here. Uh, let's go straight across there. Just so anything we do down here doesn't have to go via this teeny roundabout to get round here. And in fact, with that set up like that, I'm going to make this road here two-way. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? That one and that one. There we go. Excellent. So we've got this connection through here. That connection could also come down over here. And then we can sort of build off of that. Excellent. Okay, well, let's stick a factory in, I think, over here and see. Actually, I want a factory near near to here. Hmm, I'm just thinking. So goods are going to be taken in and out of the factory. Which one are we going to go for? The car factory. How big is it? Oh, blimey, it's massive. So it's going to have to go over here in its own little section. Out of city limits, slope too steep. <laughs> We're going to get all the uh, out of city limits. Oh man, it's so big, we can't even fit it in. Here we go, excellent. So if that went into there, and we leveled that land out a bit, any goods that were coming out would go down there, up into there. Yeah, that would actually work quite well, wouldn't it? How close can we get it? It's almost like it's built next to the old car factory, and this is the new car factory. How about that? I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I do want to just move that. Can I? Yes, I can. Oh, it's even got trucks outside. Look, I didn't notice that before. Look at that. Yeah, this is like the old car factory to the new car factory. Fantastic. Let's pop those there. Oh, there's a truck down here. Didn't see you. Uh, yeah, let's pop you there. And we've got these guys down there. Excellent. So, can we fit this in? and do a bit of landscaping so it actually looks like it should be there there we go i think that fits in nicely very good very good so we've got the old broken down run down car factory over here and then we've got the brand new sparkling car factory over here that needs lots of goods and stuff to uh, get it going so let us work on that what have we got i mean we've got we're so close to the nuclear power plant we've almost hit it a few times then we've lost it and we've got it again um I think we'll go for the solar panel set up over here. Let's do that. And for the solar panel farm, we're going to go like this. We're going to do something a little bit different. Let's go up there. Let's come out there. And we're going to pop that in. Let's come around it. Yeah, there we go. Connect that up to there. Take these out. Excellent, and then we can add some more in as we go along. You need water, do you? Well, we can fix that for you. We have water in abundance. So let's just run this pipe along here for you. zippity doo da, all the way along, nice and straight. Oh, we've, like, come to the end of the map. Is that still straight? That's still straight. Excellent, let's line it up with that one. Cool, there we go. Good, good, good. So we've got power over here. Yep, power coming in. You've got water. Yep, we can't complain anymore. Right, okay. So, 
Let's see what goods it needs. Animal products, plastic, glass, and metals are already flying in. <laughs> We're already making cars. Wow, I have to say, that is pretty good. I'm thinking about some warehouses down here to store some of these goods. So let's see what size warehouse we've got. Now, it's interesting. I don't know how the game is going to prioritise what goes where. That's, that's the only thing... I think is missing from the industry's DLC, and there's not much missing from it, but a way to tweak. Yes, we'd like a certain percentage of animal products to go from there to here, but then the rest to go over there, and that sort of thing. It seems to maybe equalise it out a bit. I'm not too sure, but anyway. One, two, three, four. We seem to have lots of animal products, and they're nearby, and nearby as well, so that might be why. Let's have a look at our warehouses. So, we've, we've got the yard. Oh, it just won't fit. Darn it. Because that would come out of there. They could then... Oh, hang on a sec. If they're getting the stuff to the car, the factory, they're going to come out there, go down there, go there, go on the highway, and then come down there. Oh, can they actually get in? They can't, can they? Look. They'll come out of there, go up this road, down there, up onto the highway. Then they'll go down here, take that road off, but that only goes this way. <laughs> huh. So we need to change our little road set up here. We need this one to also connect to this road. That's what we need, so they can take a shortcut and come out. There we go. We've solved it. Let's get this one here. To connect to there. There we go. And they can drive down and go round. Fixed. So where are we going to put our... I mean, are these a bit smaller? Oh, they're a bit smaller. Let's use those. Small warehouse. Medium warehouse. Yeah, here we go. Small warehouses. So let's have one. Two. Scaling up. I've just got myself a achievement. Let's have four of those along there. And we want animal products, plastic, glass, metal. So animal products... Uh, plastics, glass, and metals. There we go. So they're going to hold all of those for us. And they can be taken around to over here. Here we go. Cargo trains coming in. Dropping off some stuff. What have you got and where have you come from? Importing ore products to coal power plants. What? So you're going to go all the way up there, all the way around there, all the way around there to here. Really, that's the nearest. There's like a train station right here. <laughs> okay. Off you go then if you really want to do that. Excellent. So we're making cars. I'm going to whack this up. I want to make tons of money from this. Garbage is piled up. Oh, yeah, we could do that. We could add in one of these. So this is going to make raw materials from the waste as well. Which will help over here. Uh, let's just pop you in that area there. There we go. Excellent. You can head off. Let's just see if we can get that road to line up. I hate building on slopes. There we go. That's not too bad, is it? And then we can just do that one to that height there. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Good, good, good. And that gives us enough power. We're not getting enough glass and metals coming in. Well, we want to leave that running for a while and see whether that's always the case or whether we need to sort of balance stuff particularly. I'm thinking of bringing that one into that junction there as well. And whether I should make this a two-way road. Because then people can come in and go that way. Yeah, maybe we should. Let's make this two-way. And that one under there. And then let's connect that. Uh, let's go to there. And then let's go like that. Yeah, there we go. So people can get in under there. Good. That's a weird little junction under there. But hopefully it won't get too busy. Well, let's see how that goes. I mean, at the minute they're coming out and they're whacking them all into here. By the look of it. And they're all on balance. So we'll see how that goes. There we go. We can see the trucks. Uh, see the things being piled up at the back. I like that. I like these. And they seem to randomly go in as well. Which makes them all look a little bit different. 
That's great. I am wondering whether these should be over here somewhere, but... And whether we should have a road that comes down here and connects that way. Do you know what? That would be a good idea. Can we get over that? Let's go like that. Oh, that's perfect. Hang on. Hang on. If we go like that... Connect that up to there. Then we'll upgrade that tiny little bit. To not that road. To... Which one is it? This one right down the end here. That one. Bing. There we go. So you can get the stuff from there. Drive around there. Deliver it to here. There we go. And we get loads of stuff coming in. Brilliant. So have we got over here? Let's have a quick look. A farming area. Not right here. We've got that over there is the nearest. Just thinking about getting animal products and metal. So that's coming all the way from the ore. I mean, we do have ore here. So if we set up a little ore industry here, we might find we get a bit more coming across. Perhaps. How's our teeny industry going over here? Madman Grove. Going okay. Yep, yep. Good. We'll leave that one going. Yeah, so maybe. We've got this industrial park marked out. So let's change the name of this. Meadow Industrial Park. Let's grab the name of a patron who is currently... Oh, actually, no. Let's put the ore thing in first before we do that. Hold fire, hold fire. Uh, we need access to this. I think this road here is going to come around there and give access to that. Yes. Let's do that. Let us upgrade that. Two big roads. Let us delete that section. We're going to go through there. How are we going to get over there? We're going to go like that. Then we're going to go like that. And then we're somehow going to get over there. Maybe a little tunnel underneath. I don't see why not. Yep, yeah, excellent. We can fit it in. Yep, yeah, page up. Perfect. There we go. And then we've got access. So there's a little teeny tiny ore industry. And I've got prop and tree anarchy on. Perfect. Let's get rid of that. Oh, man. Oh, no. Prop and tree anarchy's been on for ages. Oh, yeah. Look at all these trees in the road. Easy fix for that. Let's just move it, mod the road out and back in again. Ping, ping. There we go. Sorted. <laughs> I think everything else is okay. Nope, this one down here. Du, 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 du. Bing, bing. There we go. Good. Right. So we've got our road in here. Let us just break off from this one with a small industrial road. So we're going to go... Stop it now. I'm going to go to there. It's going to come down to there. Then it's going to come down to there. And then it's going to go up to there. Yes. And then let's have a look. What have we got? We've got ore everywhere in there. Excellent. So let's get the ore building. So we want the ore industry main building. So where could we slide that in? At the end here. Up there. Around here. Over there. Around the side. Yeah, I think on here. Come here. As close as we can. There we go. So that's now Meadow or Group. Cool. Right, let's change the name then. So this is going to be... Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Somebody we haven't used before. Somebody maybe we haven't used for a while. Here we go. Last year, horse economy Fate or group. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon and joining the Discord as well. If you wish to help support me and my family, then the Patreon link is below. And there's also a Discord link, which is free to everybody. So feel free to come and join that. What is going on with this land over here? Oh, my giddy aunt. We need to sort that out. There we go. That's better. Uh, we've probably just removed all the electricity for the whole of this place. Uh, let's see if we can just fix that up. 
Uh, I thought we had it coming along that bridge there. Maybe not. Okay, let's grab this again. And just go from there to there. Out of the way. Oh, that is so unstraight. Unstraight. There you go. Word of the day. Excellent. That should connect all of that up. And then if we get another one of these in here, that will connect that up. Excellent. Everybody happy? Everybody happy? Hands up if you're not happy. Everybody's happy. Right. Let's start digging out some ore. <clears throat> Excuse me. What is the... I mean, we've got these massive large ore excavators. They ain't going to fit in. We've got like the underground one. Small ore mine underground. That is quite cool. Could I squeeze one of these? down here. Yes, I could. It's going to totally mess up the look of that, but that actually works quite well. We can smooth that out. That's fine. So if we go like that... Ooh, let's make this a bit stronger. There we go. Go like that. Oh, I'm using the wrong one. Ha-ha! <laughs> go like that around it, and then we we'll use that. Just sort of smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. There we go. You need power. Well, in fact, I'm not going to put power in. I'm going to give you some storage. Small ore mine. What have we got? What have we got? Ore industry maintenance building. Barracks. Yep, let's get some barracks in before we do the storage. I feel like that needs to go there. That will fit in nicely. Yep. What's going on here? There we go. We've got seabed mining as well for ore, which we haven't done yet. Do we get any? Oh, we've got like, oh, I mean, that would fit in there. Look, it'd look a bit weird. We could do it down here, couldn't we? Oh, man, that could be good. We could have that in there. 7,000, that's too near the land, but we could actually maneuver the land a bit. Water required. What would that give us? 7,480 units a week. What's the maximum? 8,800. So this will probably give us 8,800. Yeah. 7,000. 8,800. <laughs> Guess we're having that in here then. That's what we want. That is what we want. Let's get a road connected to that. Space ready occupied. I don't think so. Right, let's put some storage in here as well. We've got these. are quite big. Have we got a different one here? Raw mineral storage. That's quite large. And we've got this place here now, which is going to be bringing out a lot of stuff. And that storage there could actually be quite handy. Let's pop that one in there. And smooth that out in a second. There we go. That's going to hold a lot for us. Let's get our smoothing tool. And see what it can do with that. Not too bad. We'll stick a load of trees on it. It'll look fine. Excellent. So you can drop off. They can come in. Cool. So we're going to be getting absolutely tons of ore now. Loads of workers in there. We're going to keep that one balanced. Uh, you still need power. There we go. Very good, very good. So now we'll see a lot of ore trucks probably coming down this way and dropping off ore to these guys. How are you doing? Glass. Oh, yeah. It's not just straight ore. It's got to be metal, isn't it? So then we need a metal factory. Of course, completely forgot about that. Uh, it's not under there, is it? It's under here. Which one is it? Which one is it? So all industry storage. Fiberglass plant. What's that making? Glass. Of course, it's in the name. Rotary Kill Plant. Kiln Plant Metals. There we go. And considering the size of this thing we've got down here, I think the Rotary Kiln Plant is a good idea. Will that look okay there? No, that'll look a little bit weird. Mm, I was so pleased with that little, little road that we had there. And it's all just made it very difficult to place buildings. What about... If we bring a straight road over here and sort of put it up against that. Well, there we go. I think that area is starting to turn out looking quite well. Built into the hillside up there. We could put a few sort of office buildings and things in there perhaps. We have some industry needs. So, I mean, we could have a couple of buildings there. Maybe a couple down there. One or two up in this area as well without messing up the landscape too much. Yeah, there we go. Let's go with that. They're moving in. Excellent. 
I think that looks okay. And that's going to start producing an absolute ton of ore, isn't it? I think this road here needs to just be straightened out in line with that. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. That looks really nice. So what are we producing here in the Fey Ore Group? Uh, tons of ores and some metals as well. We're making some money. So hopefully that will start working. I went for the smaller factories in the end, by the way. The ore grinding mill. There we go. Rather than that massive big one. That's working out rather well. And plenty of stuff stored in there. And let's have a look over here. Ooh, let's just change that. I hadn't noticed that before. There we go. If you have a look over here, don't tell us you're short on metals. You're not. You've got everything you need. Excellent. And it's at 150%, don't forget. So we're really pushing this one to the max. I think that has worked out absolutely fantastic. I'm loving that. Let's just take a look at how much money we're making. We're growing again because we're taking care of some of the industry needs, which is nice to see. 52,000... Wow, I wonder what that is on a really good day. Because it goes up and down on a really good week, I should say. But that is brilliant. Our industries are going really, really well. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe. Maybe watch the next video in the series. It's on the screen right now as well. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.